Gloria. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious and amazing roasted poblano salsa that I know you guys are going to love. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. <music> delicious roasted poblano salsa these are the ingredients himalaya salt or the salt you have at home black pepper poblano chili pots serrano chilies tomatoes two garlic cloves and just a little splash of water this is everything we need to enjoy this amazing and roasted poblano salsa let's get started here, I want to start by first preparing the chile serranos, and I'm taking the stems off of every single one. Remember that this salsa is going to be roasted. The flavor of this amazing salsa is just amazing. And here I have my two garlic cloves that I'm going to wake up by smashing them. When you smash them, you are it, it's so easy to take the skin off of the two garlic cloves. Once this is done, let's go to the stove. I have a skillet getting nice and hot. And here, let me show you. This part of the tomato is going to go face down. This is the part that takes much longer time to get nice and roasted and nice and soggy. So that's the way I'm putting my tomatoes here my chile serranos and of course my two garlic cloves i am going to roast them really good until they're nice and roasted take care of the garlic cloves because you know that that was going to get to get roasted really quick look at this all these ingredients are going to make this salsa just amazing and here on the other side of the stove, I'm gonna start getting nice and roasted my poblano peppers. This is going to take time, but let me tell you, roast them until they are nice and roasted from every single side, just like this. You're gonna roast your three chile poblanos, and then once they're nice and roasted, you're gonna put them in a little baggie so that they could start sweating. When you do it like this, it's going to be so easy to remove the skin of the chile poblanos. Look how easy this is gonna be. Well, I'm gonna continue roasting the other one and then I'll show you when I'm done. Once your tomatoes and the garlic is roasted, you're going to start flipping them. Remember to remove the garlic clove so it doesn't burn on the skillet. And now I am ready to just flip over all the tomatoes so that they start getting nice and soggy, roasted from the outside. I am going to, of course, leave the skin nice and roasted and I'm going to blend it with the skin. The same thing goes with the chile serrano. I'm going to roast them really good and I'm gonna make sure that they roast it from both sides. So make sure that you keep an eye on them. Don't over roast them or get them burned. Once you see the chile serranos roasted from both sides, you are ready to start making your amazing salsa. Look at this. This is the way you wanna see all your tomatoes and your chile serrano. And here, I am ready to remove them, put them in a plate, and start getting ready with the chile poblanos. I love making this salsa and having it in the refrigerator at all times, year round, because when you have this amazing salsa, you could add it to, to so many different recipes. 
And here I have my chile poblanos. Look how easy it's going to be to remove the skin and the seeds. I'm going to cut through the center. With the knife, I'm going to remove all the seeds and the same goes with the skin. Look how easy you take the skin off and that's exactly how you want it. I'm going to put it aside, continue taking the skin off of the rest of the chile poblanos. Look how easy this is. And this salsa comes out nice and chunky and delicious. Not too spicy. Of course, if you really love it spicy, add more serrano chilies. And if you don't like spicy, just remove some of the serrano chilies. Look at this. Well, I'm going to stay cleaning the rest of the chile poblanos. And once this is done, let me tell you, I have all the ingredients ready to put in the blender. I am sure that once you make this amazing recipe, you are really going to fall in love with this red poblano salsa. I know that this part is time consuming, but let me tell you, make it, enjoy it with your beautiful family. And here I'm adding all my tomatoes into my blender, into my blender. Look at this. Of course, I am going to add my black pepper, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt. Remember that the salt is to taste. And once I add this, I'm going to add a splash of a little bit of water. And now I am ready to blend it really good. Remember that I didn't remove the skin of the tomatoes. I want that smoky flavor. So I'm going to add it into this plate and then I am going to add the rest of the ingredients to my blender. I have my two garlic cloves, the juices that the tomato left behind, the serrano chilies, the poblano chilies, and of course I am ready to blend away. I'm not going to add anything else, just as is. I'm going to be pulsing, pulsing two, three, or four times until I do not see any chile poblano on the top of the blender cup. Once this is done, that's it. Don't over blend. You want your salsa to be nice and chunky. Look how this mixture comes out of the blender. Yes, look at this, nice and green, the texture really chunky. And now I'm just going to incorporate with the rest of the sauce. And you're gonna see how chunky this gets. The color is just amazing. And like I told you before, I love putting them in this jar and just keeping it in my refrigerator. So whenever I want to enjoy it, I have some of this amazing red poblano salsa. And here, of course, I want to show you how it looks. It's really chunky. And of course, I am going to enjoy it with some tortilla chips. This is the plate for the presentation. But look at the texture of the red poblano salsa. It's really delicious. It's not too spicy. And of course, it's homemade. Homemade with lots and lots of love. Look at the texture. Delicious, amazing. All those beautiful colors in there. Oh my God, this is just perfection made at home. And now, of course, I need to taste it. I need to enjoy it. And this is the way you enjoy this amazing red poblano salsa. I am ready for the presentation. I'll see you in just a little bit. completely 
with this roasted poblano salsa. Look at this, nice and chunky. The flavor, amazing. You need to make it. You need to enjoy it with your beautiful family. This is the part I love and enjoy tasting my recipes. Excuse me. Mmm, mmm. So delicious. Mmm. Let me tell you, everything is roasted and the flavor of the poblano, just delicious and amazing. You need to enjoy it with any kind of dish. Taquitos, roll taquitos, carne asada, chicken, shrimp, even with just rice. Let me tell you, once you make it, you are going to keep it in your refrigerator for every week throughout the year. I am sure you're going to love this amazing roasted poblano salsa. If you like and love this amazing recipe, like, subscribe, and share, and don't forget to push that notification bell. And if you did, leave it activated so every time I make an amazing recipe, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. Like, subscribe, and share. See you soon. Bye-bye.